The first developer preview of Android O just launched, so we're taking a quick look at what's new in the latest version of Android. I'm Ian from Your Tech Explained, and let's dive right in. One of the bigger features in Android O is notification channels. Long pressing on a notification allows you to fine tune notifications from a specific app. This gives users control over specific types of notifications from one app instead of general controls for the entire app. There's also notification snoozing, which allows you to swipe a little to the right or left on a notification and snooze it for 15, 30, or 60 minutes. It's definitely a neat feature. Although no apps currently support it, apps will support icon badges much like on iOS. This has been possible through third-party apps like Nova Launcher, but having that feature in stock Android is a great benefit. Apps will also have adaptive app icons so that data can be displayed on the app icon and regularly change. This is exactly like what the calendar app has, except now other apps can support it. Another exciting feature is picture in picture mode. This is so you can keep watching that YouTube video in a separate window while answering a text. There will also be plenty of settings that you can tweak for picture in picture mode such as the aspect ratio and custom interactions. So far, Android O doesn't have too many UI tweaks, but the biggest one we've noticed is that the settings menu is completely redesigned. Many settings are in a different spot or are grouped differently. Plus, the settings received a new coat of paint as well. More Android O developer previews are expected, and Google has even put together a timeline. Developer preview 2 is expected around Google I.O., Preview 3 around mid-June, and Preview 4 mid-July before the final release in Quarter 3. Now, this is only the first of several previews, so the software is certainly not stable for daily use. It's also safe to assume that the feature set is incomplete, so features could be taken away or added. But if you're desperate to check it out, then you can flash the preview onto your Pixel or Nexus device. No over-the-air update yet. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content.